Well, I'm just going to begin by asking if you were aware of Alan Turing's life before getting involved in this project. Almost nothing. It's, I was sent a script from my agent and said, this is a beautiful script, you have to read it. And I was just blown away by the story and how little I knew. And it almost feels ashamed, like why didn't I know about him? Why wasn't I learned about him in school? Wasn't in the front cover of the history book? Because his achievements are so staggering. And uh, I became obsessed with him. And it's, and it's needed to know everything about this remarkable, awkward, phenomenal man. And, and uh, I, it's it's been such a almost humbling experience to try and spread his legacy, and but especially outside of Britain, very few people know about him at all. Do you, do you think that's almost one of the responsibilities of a filmmaker is to, as a storyteller as well, is to spread these these tales? And I mean, because I didn't know anything about him either, and no. so thanks to kind of you, and you know, I, I do now. No, no, I I, I take it it's, it's a huge responsibility, and it's it, it's a uh, and it's a uh, because it's it's not only about it's his life, but it's also sort of like a, a celebration of outsiders, of those who are different, those who think different, and how important those are, and and how easy it is to prosecute them or or punish them for being different, which what happened to Alan Turing. So it's, I think it's a very relevant and very important story. Of course, I mean, I mean, Headhunters was a huge success over here, and I mean, yeah. got rave reviews. When, when, just after making that, did you think this could be the project that could elevate my career and push me towards, you know, British or U or US sort of audiences? I had no thinking that way. I mean, I mean, I. It came as a surprise to me as well that my next movie was going to be, you know, period British movie. But you never know. Some sometimes you just stumble over material, and you said, "This is the movie I have to do. This is the movie I want to do. This is the story that really appealed to me." Maybe because I wasn't. I moved to Hollywood after Headhunters and be, was an outsider in Hollywood, and maybe it was very relatable about this story. And and it's and it's uh, it just felt like a very important and the right story for me to tell. Because, I mean, the film deals with really immense themes. I mean, you've obviously got the war and obviously the implications to what Alan Turing is trying to do are, are huge. But it remains a very sort of quite intimate story. Was that quite a challenge to always kind of remain faithful to the, the human in, in, in the middle of this sort of grandiose setup? It, it is. It is. It is. It's, it's the balancing act between, uh, you know, the character and his journey and, uh, the, you know, the overall scope of the whole movie and uh, all the different things. I mean, it's, it's a war movie. It's a, it's a biopic of him. It's, it's a, there's a gay right element to it. And it's, and it's the human right. And it's, it's a, and it's, uh, and in many ways, you know, Joan Clark is a woman who, uh, you know, not taken seriously for her intelligence, which is always, like it's like it's a, it's a feminist side to it. Like there's a, there's a movie that has so much, and it's and uh, at the same time, we want it to be thrilling, we want it to be entertaining because his life is worthy of deserves a movie that get a big audience, and and um, so yeah, it's been a juggling act. I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch is just breathtakingly good in this movie. Well, mm. when, when directing someone who embodies the character as much as this, are you able to sort of step back and just go, wow, that was. That was quite something. Were you almost too involved in the kind of technicalities of it? No, no. It's it's. I mean, we're, we're both me and Benedict are perfectionists, and we pushed each other. And it's it's been a great working relationship and trying to piece together who Alan Turing is, because there's no recordings of how he talked or videos or films of how he moved. So we sort of like have to create him out of all these bits and pieces. And and we didn't want to put him into a box and make him sort of like the typical cliche mad genius, because it was so much more. There was such a complex and, 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 and put together character that's driven and strong and fragile and this boy that lost so much that's the core of the character. I, I interviewed uh, Charles Dance a couple of weeks ago and he was uh, saying that he reckons Benedict Cumberbatch should and hopefully will win the Oscar for Best Actor next year. Do you think that uh, that's a possibility? I never predict. I hope he will and I think he deserves it. And. Uh, I mean, the Oscar bus, which is now getting there, is 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 is. I think it's is honoring the movie, and it and it's and it's hopefully it get more people to see the movie and learn about Alan Turing. As just finally, of course, you've been announced to direct pattern recognition. Yeah. I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about that and uh, and what we and if you've got any cast on board just yet. Uh, we're we're it's a little bit too early to talk about that. And uh, it's a William Gibson movie. I've been a big William Gibson fan, and it's a fascinating story, which also is about. Someone who's not cider, uh, and and uh, it's it's a thrilling like that. It's about you know technology and society as well. Brilliant. We're looking forward to it. Thank, Thank you so you much so for your time today. Much appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.
Hey! hey.